guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna unbox the February Fairy Loot Box. <laughs> I am not wearing any makeup. I'm just having a really chill day today. So that's why I look sleepy So I just invite you all to chill with me I'm also not gonna edit this video too much because I do want to get this video up today or tomorrow But I just I'm having a really busy week with uh, one big final again And I'm also moving so I canceled my fairy loot subscription two to three months ago because it's just a really It's a fun box, but when you're a student, it's quite like expensive Then I saw February's theme and it's like Beauty and the Beast themed and that is my favorite fairy tale like I love the Disney movie I love the live action movie and this is just right up my alley I know what book is inside of here this has been on my like most anticipated releases for 2019 list for a really long time let's just open the box and find out what like Beauty and the Beast themed items are in this box. I love the spoiler cards by Fairy Loot because the artwork is absolutely stunning. The theme is Beast and Beauty and on the back of this spoiler card are spoilers for things that are in the box but as usual you can find the information to all of the shops who created these items in the description down below. First thing I see, I don't know what this is. Ooh, I think it's wall tapestry tapestry. I don't know how you say that. <gasps> Whoa, it's so big. I'm gonna put you guys somewhere else so I can film it. Now you can actually see how messy my room is. Look at how pretty this is. I cannot even see it myself because it's so big. I see like a cup, I think. <gasps> oh my God, I, I think I lost the straw. But uh, I found the straw as well. So here we have this really, really pretty cup that has glitters on it and it has the beautiful enchanted rose. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so fun. I always love these. Oh, and on the back it says, tail as all this time. Ah, I love this movie and this story so incredibly much. It's really big, so that's a plus point because, you know, you gotta stay hydrated. <laughs> Next up, I think I saw something that's like perfumey or I don't know what this is. Tea with Mrs. Potts, a vanilla and white tea scented perfume. Ooh, I think this is gonna smell really good. It's one of those rolling sticks. Oh my god, this perfume. I love vanilla. Vanilla is one of my favorite like scents and it's just so nice and sweet. The next thing that I found is a Beast and Beauty trinket tray. I don't know what that means, but I think it's like for jewelry and stuff, but you can find your own way to use it probably. And it says, if it's not Baroque, I think is how you pronounce it, don't fix it. It's really pretty and shiny. Ooh, oh my god, I see a beautiful pin. I love pins. It says, until the last pin petal falls and it has the rose in it and pins are lovely I think I'm gonna put this on like my uh my coat the last item that I see is I think fairy loot has been doing these like uh tarot cards or something I haven't had a fairy loot box for like two or three months so I haven't really known anything of the system but I think these are tarot cards which are probably inspired by something Sarah J Moss because I see the characters like having these spiky ears so I think they're fake. Look at this artwork. Oh, that is so beautiful. So those are all the items in the box. So right now I have the book and this is gonna be a really, really pretty addition. I think the arcs of this book were like holographic and the regular hardcover is not, but I believe the Fairy Loot edition is gonna be holographic. I think the book is A Curse So Dark and Lonely. It's a Beauty and the Beast inspired story. Oh yes, 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 yes. A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmer, a modern retelling of Beauty and the Beast and the holographic thing well as you can kind of see the letters are holographic but the spine oh my god prince ren the heir of emberfall is cursed forced to repeat the autumn of his 18th year over and over he can only be freed if a girl truly falls for him and after so many failures his kingdom and its people are barely holding on harper's life has never been easy but she's learned to be tough enough to survive the streets of washington dc when she's sucked into ren's world nothing is as it seems Powerful forces are standing against Emberfall, and it will take more than a broken curse to save it from other ruin. Okay, I was like, Washington DC, is this like a modern world mixed in with a fantasy world? Like, that is so cool. This was a beautiful fairy loot box, and I will only order a fairy loot box from this point on if I am really interested in the book. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of these items, what you thought of the book. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and you guys can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or 
on the button down below. And because I'm a booktuber, of course, I also have Goodreads where you can follow me on, but I also have Instagram, Snapchat, plus an email address, and links to those will also be in the description bar down below. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!